Hi Aries, welcome to this reading. I hope that you're doing well today. Okay, so the card that flipped out says, oh, I'm more affected than you know. So this person could be playing it cool. You know, you might be seeing nothing from them, no changed behavior or anything like that. But they're saying it's really important for you to understand that I'm very affected right now. You know, you're doing a check into my energy and this is this is what's going on. I am bothered. I do care. When I looked at this quickly, what flashed into my mind is I'm more offended than you know. So if there are a few of you who have, you know you've had a bit of a fight with your person or you've said something they want you to know that um they've heard what you've said and it's had an impact especially if they've been acting like they didn't care um you may have said something that dented their ego something perhaps that they needed to hear and when they calm down they might you know realize yes that's it's true but they're saying it did have an impact it did have an effect for others of you i feel they're just saying i'm much more concerned about and bothered by this connection than i'm showing I miss the feel of you next to me. So this could be physically, it could be um, your energy, your company, you know, if you have, haven't have been talking so much recently, they're missing the feeling of you being um, close, even if it's through the internet or something like that. Oh, yes, yeah, see, exactly, your words linger in my mind. Mm. Okay, let's get one more. Oh, and look what we have. You still take my breath away is popping out. And let's see what this card is here. Oh, wow. I wish I could take back the things I said. For some of you, there's clearly been an argument here. And you both said um, some things here. Your person may have said things that they now regret. I feel you've probably said things that um, you may have been holding in for some time. And they're saying, I am, I'm more affected by it than, you're, than I'm showing. I'm more affected than you know right now. Um, but even, even though I might be offended, possibly, or, you know, I'm very upset, I'm still, you know, you still take my breath away. I still know you're the one for me. I'm not lying to myself in that respect. For others of you, if there's not been an argument or anything like that, I think there is still some kind of distance. Um, like I said, physical distance, it could be emotional distance, or if you've pulled your energy back for one reason or another, um, it could be because, you know, they're, they're realising that. They, they're connected to you in that way as well, so they can feel it. But they definitely miss you and they're thinking about you right now. Okay, yeah, see, sacred union, absolutely. So this seems to be a very high vibrational connection here. And your person is saying, I am well aware of this. Okay, honour and treasure your relationship for it is truly sacred. So this is where your person is right now. This is the space they're in. They're saying, yes, this is very special um, and I want to treasure this. Even if we're going through a separation or a difficulty, you know, even with me missing you, um, I'm still here, I'm still present. Okay, and the other card we have is wait. Don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. So your person could be holding back. Um, they don't want to rush. They don't want to mess anything up. They might be saying, I'm waiting for divine timing to help me out. I'm waiting for a sign. Um, I'm waiting. If you've had an argument, I'm waiting for things to calm down a little bit. I also felt when I looked at this, an immediate... Um, a feeling of panic like someone reaching after you saying wait don't go don't leave so i don't know if for some of you they might feel or get the impression that they've pushed you too far this time that you you're stepping back or that they've lost you but um there's a sense of panic maybe they feel that you know they've kept you waiting too long and they're saying please you know don't go um wait a minute maybe they're saying wait i've got something to say okay so let's let's just check in with yeah look at that the tower gosh okay scorpio energy there but there could have been something unexpected potentially explosive that happened let's just see what your energy is where you are right now so you can know if this is um your reading okay so bring into my viewers energy please and we'll just do a few because i know you know you know your energy it's more interesting to know where the person is right now oh my goodness seven of swords Okay, um, are you putting up a front? Are you also showing your person you are unaffected? I think you might be the emperor in reverse. You're doing, if that's what you are doing, you're doing a very good job of showing that you're in control, you're unbothered, um, that you, you know, you're not going to let this person or whatever's happened affect you, you're in charge, you're happy, you're carrying on, you have your game face on. But look, see, five of coins, you might be sad actually underneath everything. Oh, what's happened here? I was only away three days, guys. <laughs> no, but seriously, I, I think 
For some of you, it's almost like you're saying, I've had to step away, Seven of Swords. Sometimes that's a card of having to do what's best for you. So maybe you're having to just take a step back to have a moment to breathe um, and you've put yourself out in the cold and your person, if you're wondering, do they notice, do they care? Absolutely, yes. Um, okay, let me get a few more. Two of Swords, yes, I feel you've gone within at this time. I just heard for some of you or just someone watching you're in this emperor in reverse energy which is someone who's saying i'm going to stay in charge in control because you don't want to be bothered it's almost like you're you're dealing with something within right now and it might be that perhaps well-meaning people might say are you okay what's wrong what's happening and and it's like you just don't want that you don't need that right now so it's it's almost easier to just pretend yeah everything's fine you know so you can quietly go within and deal with something or, or resolve something i keep hearing the word vanilla um i don't know if it's like a scent or a, someone's flavoring something with vanilla okay we have the queen of swords in the reverse yes i feel you might not some of you aren't too happy right now with this person and we have the page of cups so maybe you're waiting for an apology um you might also be considering whether you should eventually reach out to this person with a small message but um i feel you are you're really sort of um for some of you in your power and others of you might be saying i'm not just in my power i'm really cross as well um gosh okay so if i think if this is your reading you're going to know it because that's very certain energy over there okay so let's keep going with your person's energy i have to come back to vanilla spirit's telling me pass on all the messages <laughs> okay so the other messages are it could be something to do with um oh how can i make it like pg for youtube um adult fun time um and also vanilla as in you know oh it's kind of plain or something like that um i don't know take that if it resonates okay your person's energy the empress in reverse something has switched something has switched here i don't know if it's a temporary switch but the hmm I almost feel like your person is looking at you waiting wondering are you going to reach out what are you thinking what are you feeling right now you're unreadable to them and I think they've been this way for you as in you've been wondering these things about them for a long time and one pivotal thing has happened recently and it switched things I think right now your person maybe has gone within um because they feel that that's the, the only thing they can do right now they might be licking their wound or feeling a bit sort of fragile we have the six of cups in reverse see the empress the emperor um six of cups in reverse this person definitely understands and believes this is a sacred union it's not just any kind of connection here the nine of swords in reverse nine of pentacles and we have the eight of pentacles this person's very worried that they're on their own now that, that they have either done something one too many times or held back one too many times and the way they're dealing with this because I, I feel otherwise they would be going kind of crazy right now is to work it could be working in terms of their career their job it could be working on um an activity it could be working on health you know whatever they they're just really really focused on something Oh, okay, we have the Hermit in reverse. So we have Taurus, Virgo energy, Libra energy. We have um, Aquarius here, the star in the reverse. Six of Wands in reverse. Six of Wands, Six of Swords in reverse. With me saying the Six of Wands in reverse, they feel that something here hasn't been a success for them. Also, the Six of Wands can be a card of an inflated ego. So for some of you, yes, you've kind of told this person something or changed something or done something that's made them self-reflect. But I think it's been a, in, a, in a good way. You didn't say something just to be mean, you know, and they know it. The Six of Swords in reverse. This can be about closing the distance between you, you know, missing you. What, what was that card? I missed the feel. Yeah, I missed the feel of you next to me. Um, 
wanting you to to make a return to them wondering if you're going to and that's what i mean they're distracting themselves here the eight of coins because if they didn't all they would do is sit and wonder and stress and think and lose sleep over whether or not there was going to be a reconciliation or if you were going to return and if they pushed it too far if they should have stepped up you know all of those things and i they are thinking about this a lot anyway but it's just that if they didn't occupy themselves in their mind it would be completely out of control Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune, and that's so interesting, it's pretty much under this card that's saying, um, you know, wait, and we know the Wheel of Fortune is kind of saying things happen in the in divine timing, um, and that sort of message came out earlier as well. We have the Ten of Cups, and we have the Ace of Swords in the reverse. Okay, wow, this person is feeling like they didn't make a big enough deal of the fact that that you make them so happy or they could see themselves being very happy with you. They didn't maybe tell you this or if they did, it wasn't, you know, they didn't make it clear enough. And I, I'm hearing forgive that they're not forgiving themselves. So they're trying to distract themselves. And you're probably thinking, well, wouldn't it be easier to just pick up the phone and say it now? Well, let's see. Why aren't they? Why haven't they done this? Good. Well, let's just see. I won't speculate. Why do that when we can have a look? <laughs> okay. We have, oh, are you kidding me? We have the, the Gemini, Gemini energy. We have the Magician in reverse and we have the Emperor in the reverse. You guys are doing the same thing. Aries energy here. Look at this. You both have this game face on. You're both saying, I'm not going to reach out. Um, I want the other to think I'm fine. The Magician in reverse is a trickster, is someone wearing a mask. You're doing the same thing. You're mirroring each other, possibly for different, you know, you're doing these, this for different reasons. Um, but yeah, this this is why I guess maybe pride here. Maybe they've never been the one to be vulnerable. So they're saying, well, I won't start now. Um, it could be fear as well that it's too late and you're going to reject them. I think you're doing it because you're, you're, you're making a stand. Um, wow. OK, let's see. Seven of Wands in reverse. This person might eventually sort of break down and open up. Um, not not them break down. Their defences, they will break those down. They will stop being resistant um, because they miss you so much. And they know, whatever the reason is that you're standing your ground, they know, they understand why. And that's the thing that, you, you know, they know you're not doing it because you're being stubborn or proud. There's a genuine reason. And I think that's what they're going to um, realise. And that's what they know that that's what's going to make them stop being... Um, Stoic, pretending they don't care. Yeah, Eight of Cups in the reverse. They miss you so much. That's what's going to break these defences down. But right now, you're both giving as good as you... Uh, what's that phrase? As good as you get? Giving as good as... You, I don't know. <laughs> Hopefully you know what I mean. You're both doing the same thing here. You both want the other to think, well, screw you, I'm fine. And both missing each other, wondering what's going on with the other... Okay. Wow. Let's get some messages from them to you. It's, it feels like a bit of a standoff. Actually, hold on. Let me look at this Wheel of Fortune because this does move things forward. So let's see where we go from here. Sagittarius energy with that. Seven of coins. So yes, this may have, this standoff may have been going on for a little while for some of you as well. Temperance in reverse, more Sagittarius energy. Both of you recognise there's a need for balance here. Someone's got to give more and someone's got to be able to take more um, and give less of themselves. And also um, for both of you, it feels, it's like you feel unsettled with, with how things are. You, you know, neither of you are genuinely carrying on saying, oh, everything's fine. It's bothering both of you. It feels like something needs to be, the reset button needs to be pressed, something needs to be healed here. Yeah, see, um, page of cups in the reverse. Here is that message, that apology, um, or that communication that your person's holding back, that you know it's time for you to receive. And they know, they know it's time for you to receive this. So they're digging their heels in, they're trying not to. Let me go to this seven of wands in reverse, the eight of cups in reverse. strength leo energy this is someone being in their pride in a healthy way 
okay i feel yeah and then we get communication eight of wands i feel like what has happened is a, is a cycle that's played out potentially for, for a long time here with the seven of coins has been broken because you have said something or you have done something different and you're standing your ground and what's happening now is your person is reflecting deciding what to do next and adjusting accordingly so this is what's happening in this in between time and it looks like the way they decide to adjust is to still be proud but to be proud in a healthy way you know they're, they're working on themselves within so they can genuinely feel proud and strong and then they come forward with the eight of wands and it looks to me like a message um an instant message a message a text message something like that um are they going, going to come forward as a page of cups? Probably not. I, I don't think this is someone, I have to be honest, who really feels comfortable being, you know, vulnerable like that, you know, being in those softer, more gentle emotions, maybe, you know, in certain situations or or further along, the, um, further down the line. But right now, I feel like they're coming in and it's going to be in a, um, a fiery way, maybe in a passionate way. Um, I don't think they... This, this person really doesn't want to seem vulnerable or they don't want to be vulnerable maybe because something happened you know in the past when they were that way or in childhood who knows but um they will adjust um and this strength card feels good to me it doesn't feel feel like it's pride and ego okay and with the wheel of fortune showing up i do feel that their their guides spirit is supporting them with this helping them to keep moving forward because you know self-reflection can be difficult um and they're being cheered on by the divine okay let's see so messages please messages from this person to my viewer wow we have so in love with you Ew. we have i need time yeah we we can see that hopefully not too much time we have i feel the same exactly everything that you have been experiencing they are feeling the same and they're doing the same so you you've got on this really good game face so have they but you're wondering what's going on underneath that so do they you might want to reconcile so do they you know that kind of thing sexual release yeah this is a very passionate sexual person um but if they have made it just about this in the past it's not anymore we have you hypnotize me i'm getting with this um hypnotize card it could be a photo you know or if they see you in person they, they sort of just um, mesmerized by you but it's also the energy of this connection their thoughts they're always thinking about you and it's like they're saying it's like they've been hypnotized okay what else please Mm, I just want to impress you and at times they may have taken that too far and they looked a bit um, you know big headed actually and we have yes the posts are for you so if they're doing something online you know if you're connected on social media or if you can see each other they and you're wondering that sort of seems relevant to us or something I've said is it is that for me they're saying actually yes I'm trying to get your attention here and you most likely haven't probably haven't been responding um, if you are in this emperor energy over here okay anything else we have will it hurt yeah will dropping my pride and ego hurt will changing my behavior um hurt will growing hurt and yes probably you know but they're going to be better off for it and we have hell no absolutely not never see that's the stubbornness they're saying no i'm not changing they will change we can see it um it seems like it's taking the fear that they might genuinely be losing you for them to change um you may have had they may have pushed you too far you may have sort of um snapped in a way in a way that you haven't before with them and it kind of did take that so if, if something has happened and you're saying or wondering did i take it too far should i've said that should i've done that i feel like actually yes it's all part of, of how this needed to evolve um but yeah there's definitely some stubbornness here i think the difference is you're also being stubborn at this point as well but for good reasons okay so um 
I will carry this on, I think, in the extended reading. I'm going to see the one question, one card in a moment. And tomorrow we will have a look at um, what's hidden. Is there anything you need to know in your connection? Anything that's coming in? Anything you've been manifesting? Any blockages you could release? You know, that sort of thing. So if you're heading off, thank you so much again for your patience with me and for watching. Um, hopefully see you again soon. If you're sticking around, I will grab a deck and we will carry on. Okay, so thank you all for your questions. Today's winner is Chrysula or Chrysola Angel, who says, I've been so hyper-focused on the Scorpio who is still with the Karmic, so do you perhaps see a new and better connection coming in for me? And if so, when? Okay, let's have a look. So Spirit, what is your message, please, here? What's your answer? Is there a new and better connection coming in? I'm already hearing manifest, but this is telling me um, this is something you can definitely have if you want. It's about, you know, really focusing your energy and um, remembering that we manifest our vibration and what we believe, not, um, you know, what we're saying or, or thinking necessarily. So... Yeah, I think you definitely have the power here to manifest a new and better connection. Let's, let's see. Okay. We have a six of wands in the reverse. Two of swords. Yeah, this is about getting out of your head, out of your ego mind, and into your heart space, into your intuitive mind and body here. Six of cups. And the star in reverse. So it's possible that, you know, you could be manifesting a soulmate or there's the potential to manifest a soulmate, someone who just feels like home. What I will say is it could be someone from your past, maybe even specifically an Aquarius with the star coming up. It doesn't have to mean someone like an ex, a romantic ex. It could mean an old friend, um, someone you just sort of fell out of touch with, someone you knew in a different sort of capacity who might be coming back around and there might be a spark there. Um, yeah, I think spirits say, Saying this this is all up to you if this is something you want you can definitely manifest this but um it's got to come from a place of confidence of, of quietness of, of contentment you know you've got to be in that space first and um and it's about tapping into your inner power here let me have a look at the star temperance sagittarius energy yeah i feel like it could be someone you've already known and Maybe it didn't end the best way. Maybe this, it could simply be you just lost touch or this, you worked together and this person um, moved to a new company or something like that and you never heard from them. But if it is, if it's someone coming back around, I'm seeing this being healed, I'm seeing balance and I'm seeing reciprocity with the two cups in this image. Um, and a deep soul connection, it's like your, your souls, um, there's a resonance between you here. And if it's if it's someone brand new, I feel it's going to be a very healing connection, definitely. So I think that's your answer. I think the answer from spirit is yes, absolutely. But, um, you know, let it be known that that's what you're looking for. Set that intention um, and take guidance really from yourself, from within. You, you kind of don't need to be... Um, looking around and seeing what other people are doing or what other people think. Um, and for some reason, it might be that your mind, your brain is going to try and get in the way. And Spirit's saying, if that happens, take a deep breath um, and recenter yourself. Okay, so hopefully that's helpful. Thank you again, everyone. Um, take care. And I guess I'll either see you in the extended or hopefully see you tomorrow. Bye.